Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Oma Balaji, your social media bestie. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use Hootsuite like a pro. Fun fact about me, Hootsuite was the very first social media platform I ever scheduled a post on 10 years ago. That's the first one I used. This tells you that they've been existing even before I became a social media manager or to now become that mentor that you guys always look up to. Now you can use Hootsuite for more than scheduling posts. They don't just schedule posts anymore. You can use them to manage multiple platforms, but now you can also use them for DM automation. You know, when people say comment the word this and I will send you this, you can do that all within Hootsuite. You can also use it to listen to what your audience is actually saying online. I feel like Hootsuite it has social listening nailed down because let's be honest as a social media manager or content creator one thing we struggle with is time 24 hours is never enough but with the right tools in your arsenal you can actually breathe a little easier and work a lot smarter so let's just go right into it and let me walk you through why hootsuite because you people must be wondering palaji why hootsuite well apart from the fact that hootsuite was the very first platform i used there are tons of scheduling tools out there but what i really like about hootsuite is how it goes way beyond scheduling you get so much for just paying for a scheduling tool it lets me track brand mentions helps me reply to messages helps me monitor keyword and now you can automate instagram and facebook dms all from one platform and when you're handling like multiple accounts or client pages the centralized workflow saves you hours and i'm just going to show you how to set it up especially if you work with teams if you are a company a business owner a small business owner, a medium scale business owner. I know there's a lot of you in my audience. Hootsuite is one tool you want to check out. Now, you, if you work in, with teams and a lot of you, I know you work with teams because I get a lot of DMs, I get a lot of emails. You want to be able to add your team member here, but I want you to know that when you had team members, you get to pay more but you can afford it because your business is making that much just to let you know that caveat. So if you have teams, you can add your teams in your organization. Yeah. If you have different members, tell them to sign up on Hootsuite. It's very, very good for collaboration. You can add them here. You can also add your social networks. My own social networks right now on Hootsuite are my Instagram page, my LinkedIn page, and also my Threads account. So you can add your team here if you want them to have access to it. And if you don't want them to have access to it, you don't have have to add your team there if you run campaigns i currently don't run any campaigns you can run a campaign directly from hootsuite and also manage the campaign there are also social accounts that you can view and post to so if you have like a private account you can just set it up you can add private accounts on youtube linkedin twitter instagram business facebook pinterest tiktok whatsapp business and threads hootsuite gives you the ability to post on multiple platforms which is something I feel like you should work on. Now, we're going to talk about the planning and scheduling and DM automation part. So I'm going to just go to create a post. So when you create a post on Hootsuite, it will bring out all your accounts. One thing I always do, first of all, to clear my head is to clear all of the accounts. I like scheduling from different platforms, one after the other. I don't like dumping the same thing on all of these platforms. I'm going to post on Instagram first of all, and that's what I'm going to use as this example so I don't make it too long. I don't know if you're like me, but if you're like me, I like selecting my posts one after the other, but because of this tutorial and I don't want to waste your time, I am going to select all of them. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And Utsut is going to load all of them. And then you get to see a preview. Now, this is why I don't like doing this. I'm going to move it. And then you can move it. I love that you just move which one you want first, which one you want last. So you can just move it. If I want this one to come before this one. And as you move it, it will, you'll be able to see how it looks like from here. I want to confirm that the last page is the last page. Yes, the last page is the last page. Now, you can also write the first comment if you want to. I just write first to comment because I am my number one cheerleader. Because if you don't cheer yourself, who's gonna cheer for you? <laughs> Now, the last part of this post is to tell them to comment the word toolkit. And I know, yes, a lot of people read the carousels, but a lot of people forget. So I'm going to state the obvious 
comment the word two kids and i would send you the pdf with all the direct links and your dms simple so as you're doing your edit here you're able to see like okay this is how it's going to appear this is what i'm going to see i'm going to add one ash and just do create those code i'm going to move that down and then you see there and it's clickable so it just shows me that that's working also when you scroll down you can add your location manchester sometimes it gives me manchester united i don't know even instagram gives me manchester united what did i say <coughs> manchester united i don't know why they always do that manchester uk i can publish via mobile notifications if i want to but i don't want to you can also add tags if you want to now if you want to collaborate with somebody you can collaborate and if you want to like tag people you can do that but i'm not doing any of that so i'm going to schedule for later but i'm not scheduling for today i'm scheduling for saturday hopefully to give you the prime time to schedule they'll suggest it to you but I'm not doing that. So I'm going to do between 9 and 11 a.m. And I'm going to click on done. And then I'm going to click on schedule. Next, we're going to go to DM automations. This is my scheduled post, right? And the word is to kid. Now, Utsu to give you three different replies. You can add as many replies as you want to. Go look in your messages. Found your DM. Sent now. That found your DM sounds really wrong. Sent to your DMs sent just now check your dms yeah that works now it tells you to delay before commenting i'm just going to do one minute i'm not going to do more than that direct message now what is the message that you're going to see because yes you've set up that one but what's the message that they are going to receive in their dms when you are sending it to them so i'm going to say here's the pdf Yes, the link to the PDF as promised, right? What's the button? Grab, oh, let me be very petty. Give me my two kids. As you can see here, then you can enter the destination for URL. So I'm just going to look for one URL because I don't know. I should have kept that somewhere, but yeah, let's do that. I, I, I must check this later because I, that's the post I want to go out but i must confirm this to make sure it's the right url and then i can activate when you activate you can see that it's scheduled and then you'll be able to see the total comments the dms the open rates and the total click you can see here if it's for a post so yeah that just basically just works for me the next thing we're going to talk about is social listening now i love how huge the social listening works and as somebody that just became recently became a numbers girl last year i'm just going to show you i want to hear what everybody's saying about edits and cap cuts and you know that's been like a a continuous conversation in the social media landscape so i'm going to click on edits and i'm going to click on search and then i'm going to compare it with cap cuts and i'm going to click on enter let's leave it like that edit and cap cut you can see here that it gave us results based on what people are saying so if you're someone that does a lot of social listening to see what people are talking about a brand hootsuite is one that you should need to use based on the sentiment analysis what are the positive a lot of people are talking more about cap cuts in the positive light than in the negative light and you can see here more people are talking about cap cuts than edits in the positive light edit has more negatives but a lot of people are creating more posts about edits than cap cuts those are the things that you know and then you also get to see the activity peak based on what people are saying in the hours of the day then there's also the results over time that you get to see okay people are talking more about edits and i can tell you this just tells me that Belagia should talk more about edits let's do another comparison i'm going to use netflix and prime amazon prime so let's see how that works it's going to take a few seconds not too long you it needs to scourge the internet and then you can see here a lot of people are talking more about amazon prime than netflix the engagement of amazon prime is higher than netflix well but sentiment in the positive light a lot of people are talking about netflix more than amazon prime it just helps you to make decisions over time and you can also download this report and put it in your your pdf when you're presenting something okay should we run ads on amazon prime because let me tell you a lot of people are running ads on amazon prime let's compare it with disney plus also i know these things because i watch it I'm always switching from Netflix to Prime to Disney Plus. This is how social listening works. You need to be able to tell that mm, this is where 
Why is Disney Plus really low? <laughs> you can see that a lot of people don't really, really use Disney Plus, even though they're talking about it in a positive light. But I can tell you, I get influenced by some of the ads I see on Disney Plus. So yeah, this just helps you make data-driven decisions and also informs your decision. Next, we're going to talk about analytics. Now, I am a numbers girl and I love how Utsu gives me analytics. Now, there are a lot of analytics that you want to consider. You can see my posts, you can see my impressions, you can see my company. I'm not connected to facebook but yeah you can see that in the past week this post had four thousand likes it's crazy <laughs> i was even expecting the post to do well so you can see my top three posts and if you're someone like me that creates a report that wants to show clients their top three posts or your social media manager within an organization who to help you helps you to narrow all of that down you don't have to go in to instagram to check that by yourself you can also see the total number of post views based on reels carousel this is way 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 more in depth than what instagram gives to us you can see the post here based on carousel album real your photo post i did a photo post yeah stories post shares i need to work on my post shares because yeah a lot of people view my post but the post shares is just really really low i don't know why they don't share my post post engagement is really good you can see my engagement rate is 2.25 which is really good it can be better you can also see my post likes my post saved people are liking my post that's really good you can also compare everything in a graph and one thing i like is you can export it now let's talk about competitive analysis and benchmarking i've added some accounts here who's it allows you to add as many accounts i think there's a limit though but as many accounts as you want to compare with you can see based on my frequency level i and sugar punch marketing have the same posting frequency based on posts you get to see the post performance which of their posts is actually doing well compared to yours based on all of this my recent post in the last five days has not been doing well even though it got a lot of comments and that's because of dm automation grad girls marketing on based on like she has like the highest post i have like the list i need to work more on my content on my carousels this is me social media guy was doing well on the 26th of may which is not bad in which is not bad at all and you can see the trending hashtags that works in our niche and you can also judge based on post length and the average hashtag it's always very good to run competitive analysis and also benchmark against your competitors because you don't want to be left behind especially when it comes to like finding out what it is you can analyze your most successful posts i really like this for somebody that works with with brands you want to be able to tell the average engagement rate per post i used to calculate it with my hands and with hootsuite you don't have to do that you can tell the average engagement purpose this post actually did well I, I think it's because of the dm automation most of the posts with dm automation actually do it so you can tell the average engagement per post and you can also like compare one of three with your post that it just makes it easy this is one of my favorite features another feature that i love when it comes to using it is to figure out the best time to post. So what I always do is I always post between the 8 a.m. and the 11 a.m. mark so that when they come online, they get to see my post. See, it tells me the best time to publish is on Sunday. Hmm. I'm going to try that because I don't really post on Sunday. But I know that a lot of people are online on Sunday. So it just tells me. So if you want to like build awareness, it also tells you the best time to post best time to build awareness is on saturday you see that monday by 6 p.m and monday by 3 p.m it actually works if you want to like increase your engagement it also tells you the best time to post all these are actually correct because those are the times i actually do see engagement rise so that is how i use hood suite to manage content to track my performance to automate my messages and also to stay on top of conversations. We've come to the end of today's video and that's how I use Hootsuite to like manage my content, track my performance, automate my messages, DM automations, and stay on top of conversation as a social media manager and a social media manager mentor that works with agencies and freelancers and everything. But like you, where's the link? The link is going to be in the description below. But because I know my audience, I am going to put the link also as the first pinned comment. And that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You know me, I'm always bringing the best tools for you, the best tools to make your life easier as a social media manager or a social media management company, organization, freelance business or whatever. And I hope you found this video helpful and I hope this video helps you figure out why Hootsuite is the best tool for you. See you guys in the next one.